Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss how we can filter our test in PyTest framework. In my last video, we discussed what PyTest framework is and how we can set up the PyTest framework. Then we discuss how we can create a test file and how to write the test methods inside those test files. Now today in this video, I'm going to discuss how we can filter our test. Here, I have only a single test file where I have these three test methods created. But when we have a large number of test cases automated, then we'll have many test files and test methods with us. And not always, we want to run that large number of automated test cases because it takes time to execute all those test cases. So sometimes it happens that I want to run a specific set of tests. In that case, we need to filter our test based on the requirement. So today we'll see how we can filter our test during test execution. For example, here I have this test file, test underscore my file. And I have these three test scenarios over here. Now what I'll do, I'll create another test file. And let me name this as test underscore second file. We have to provide the test underscore in test file name as we discussed in last session as well, that our test file should start with a test underscore or it should end with an underscore test. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll copy these tests from this file over here. And then let me change the test methods name here. Let me change this to first method. Then this one to second method. And this one to third method. So I've copied the test methods from this file to this file and rename those test methods because we only want to see how we can filter our tests. Now I have two test files and six test methods. If I want to run my test, then let me go to the terminal. Now, if I want to run all the test files which I have in my framework and all the test methods, then in that case, I can type the command as pytest. When we run this pytest command, then it will run all the test files available in the framework. And all the test methods available under those test files will execute. Here we can see it collected six items. So two test files got executed. The first file is my first file. And the second one is my second file. In both files, it executed three test cases. Now let's say I want to filter my test based on the file name. Let's say I want to run my file, which is a test underscore second file. And I don't want to run this test underscore my file. So in that case, what I can do is, first, let me move to this directory because right now I'm under Selenium project and I have to move to this folder by test. And now what I'll do, I can type the command by test and then I can provide the file name test underscore second file dot by. And if I hit enter, you can see it collected three items and executed this test underscore second file. So only three test cases got executed. This way we can run test cases based on the file name. If I want to run a test from a specific file, then I can provide this specific file name over here. Then another option to filter out the test is based on the test method name. Let's say if I want to run the test methods, which contains scenario in their name. So for that, what can I do? I can type the command pytest hyphen k. 
and then I can provide the substring which needs to be searched in the method name. Now, if I hit enter, then it should run these three test methods because we have scenarios in these test methods name. Here we can see it collected six items, but three items got deselected and three items got selected. Because the total test found is six from these two test files. But when it found the filter command based on the substring scenario to search in the test method name, then three got selected and another three got deselected. This is how it filtered the test cases which contain the scenario in their test name. Now let's say I want to filter my test which has first in their test name. So here in test underscore my file, I have first in the test name. And then in test underscore second file also, I have first in the test name. So this time, if I run pytest hyphen k first, you can see it collected six items again. But this time, four got deselected and two got selected because we have only two test methods which contain the first in their test name. And you can see the method which got selected are one from test my file and another one is from test second file and both failed this one is a test first scenario and this one is a test first method so this is how you can filter out your test based on the test name now let's see this time i don't want to run the test method which contains first in their test name so this command executed the test method which contains first in their test name but now I don't want to run the test method which contains first in their name and rest all test methods should run. In that case, what can I do? I can provide the string not over here. This is how I can provide the not under a single code. So what will this command do? It will run all the tests which do not contain first in their test method name. Now, if I hit enter, you can see here it executed four test cases. If I go above, then here it says six items collected, but two got deselected and four got selected. The two were deselected because these two contained first in their first name, while the other four were selected because they did not contain first in their test name. So we have two test cases from test underscore my file and the two test cases from the second file. All those test cases got executed, which does not have first in their test name. So this is how we can use not to filter our test. After that, let's say we want to run a specific method from a specific file. For example, I want to run only this second method from this second file. So in that case, what can I do? I can type the command pytest and then first I have to provide the file name test underscore second file. And after that, if I need to run a specific test method which is available under this second file and the test method name is test second method. So I can provide the double colon followed by the test method name, which is test underscore second method. And now if I hit enter, you can see it collected only one item, test underscore second file dot pi, and this method is pass. This is how you can run a specific method from a specific file using this command, which contains the test file name followed by a double colon and then the test name. Now there is another way we can filter our test. So what we can do, we can do the grouping of our test cases. And then we can filter those test cases at runtime. You might have heard about tags in other frameworks like in testng, junit or nunit. 
we can associate a tag with the test method and then we can filter those test methods using those tags at runtime. Similarly, in Python also, we can associate test methods with a tag. But in Python, we call them as markers. To add a marker or to associate a tag with the method, we can type pytest dot mark dot and then we can provide the marker name. Let's say I want to mark this test case as smoke. And then here, let me mark this test case as regression. And then I'll mark this one as sanity. So I have marked this test case as smoke, this one as regression, and this one as sanity. Similarly, let me go to the second file. And here also, I can add the markers. Let me mark this as regression. Then this one as a smoke. And then this one as sanity. So this is how we can provide the marker in PyTest framework. Now let's say we have a large number of test cases and we don't want to run those all test cases at same time. We want to run the test methods which are applicable to regression, smoke, or sanity. So in that case, what we can do, we can go to the terminal and then we can type pytest hyphen m, m is for marker, and then I'll provide the marker as smoke because I want to run the test method which is marked with smoke, and then hit enter. You can see only two test cases got executed. Similarly, if I want to run the test cases, which I have marked as regression, then again, one passed and one failed. Two test cases got executed. Now let me do one thing. Let me mark another test case as regression. And if I run the regression test cases again, This time you can see two test cases are failed and one is passed. So total three test cases got executed and three were deselected because I have executed the regression test cases. And now if I want to run the test cases, which is marked with sanity, then I can provide the marker as sanity. And this time we can see one failed and five deselected. So only a single test case got executed because we have sanity marked only with this method. This is how you can filter and group your test and then based on your requirement, you can run those test cases. That's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.